Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo! And here is one of our adorable sun bears that we just adopted in the last episode. Uh, so, you know how I was having trouble trying to figure out connecting a habitat camera to a screen? I went back and read the patch notes and apparently that only applies to burrow cameras. So I was very mistaken and people may comment about that in the previous episode, but I, I learned my lesson. Uh, so if we have any burrow animals, we can do that, but I'm still severely disappointed because right now habitat cameras are only useful for getting a little boost in marketing and I guess viewing whatever it is that you have the camera pointed at yourself, but I don't see the point in that. What's the point in having these habitat cameras if you can't hook it up to a screen and have people view it like the burrow cameras are because they say in the patch notes that the guests will react to it as if they're actually seeing the animals themselves so i i think that would be extremely useful but i i can't do anything about that and they don't have any mods for it out there unfortunately so uh the only thing that i did off camera besides trying to figure that out is put a water treatment plant here because I really think that the sun bears habitat is so barren and I feel so bad because I want them to have a really nice area they really you know deserve it I guess so I was thinking we could build them a little water area so I'm gonna keep it paused for now because I want to make sure this actually works so we're going to make a little bit of a dip not too big yeah that's good okay and then let's put in some oh it's not big enough okay uh, let's do a little more size but I don't want it to be that big okay we're gonna make it a little bigger just gonna go this way a little deeper okay that's better a little bit of water because before is pretty pitiful okay and they let's search up Sun Bear I want to see what sort of okay Asia tropical temperate and grassland so biome tropical temperate grassland and continent asia and i want some rocks because we're gonna make them a cute little waterfall i love waterfalls so do i want to do some mossy rocks that might be cool looking or i could do some tropical or temperate rocks okay so if i do this is this yeah we have random rotation on so I'm going to kind of build like a waterfall. Oh, this one's huge. I don't want that big. Okay, if I start out like this, this is a good base. Oops, don't want that. Okay, and maybe some smaller rocks. And if this doesn't interest you, then you may just want to skip ahead because... This is probably what I'm going to be working on for the first however many minutes I do this for. Because I just want to make their habitat look a little bit nicer. And right now, it's pretty pitiful. Okay, so if I do this... It's a start. I'm going to kind of peek this rock through here yeah maybe I should do a few more like normal rocks but I want them to be smaller just to kind of break it up a bit yeah okay and now construction and special effects I want water and I want water f 
beautiful. I want the top. Waterfall top. I might need to play it for a second. I'm going to put it right there. Oof, it's right in my face. Okay. Midsection, midsection. This is probably going to cost a little bit of money, but that's okay. Alright, I'm going to put it right right there. Oh, it's way out there. It's weird. I want it. Okay, we're going to do some advanced movement. We're going to put it there. Perfect. Okay, and then we want a bottom. Yes. Is this the smallest one? Yes. There we go. That's a cool little area for them. And we don't want any underwater bubbles, no jets. Okay, and now we can just do some like cute little plants. Just to kind of spice this up. No, it's too big. I want the small ones. Okay. So if you put a little few plants here, and then... I'm so glad that they have something that makes it very easy. If you use the shift button, you can raise things up and down and kind of hide them in things. Okay. If I put water hyacinth... Okay, they have some sort of, yes, that's what I'm looking for. I just want to put a few of these guys down. Perfect. Now it's not so boring. Oh, more vet research for our sun bears. Yay. They're getting through things so fast. Oh, Mei Mei. Mei Mei's stressed. Well, she's in the... She's in the trade center, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so that looks better. And I also want to spice up this area. But, let's see. Oh, yeah. That took away some of their space. So I'm going to demolish this. Look how pretty. Oh, they're going to actually... Okay, this is covered by it, right? Yes. Clean water, Everglade, Cosmic Crystal, ooh, are you actually going to go in? Can you get in there? Habitat, yes, they can get in there, awesome, oh, okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stretch out this area a little more. Just to give them a little more space. That way the rocks aren't clipping through. Yes, there we go. Now they're happy. At least now they're like, there's too much long grass for us. It's too much. Well, I guess we can give you a little more short grass. There we go. Perfect. They're very... Oh, are they about to... I hope she gets... <gasps> Yay! Okay, so we need to name these guys. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know if you have ever seen the show, but it's a cute little show called Puka. And Puka is the main girl. And they are... Chinese based, I believed, and she likes uh, a guy named Garu. So if we name him Puka and Garu, I just think that would be adorable. Okay, Puka and Garu. They're gonna have cute little babies. Look at him carry his little toy around. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we have this area for them. Oh, Benny's about to have her babies. 
Was she stressed? Oh, space. What? Oh, they need more climbing stuff. I can do that. Who else do you have in here with you? Oh, just your mate. Okay. You gonna have your babies? Babies? Oh! I, I! So cute! Okay. So we need to give them... Oh, what did we get? Oh, conservation! It's 2.2 stars now! Okay, so we need to put down one other habitat species and earn some more profits. Okay, so let's add some more climbing stuff for them. Climbable stuff. I thought they had enough, but I guess not. Okay, if we add like a little bridge here. Does this have a different color? Oh, yeah, it does, but not something I can change easily. Okay, um, oh, that's tall. That's not tall enough. Hmm. Maybe if I take this and kind of push it into the ground. That works. And then I can move this. Move this guy over here. Okay, let's see if this is that enough for you guys. Yes! Good! They're like excited! <laughs> Can they get out is the question though. Uh, traversable area. So if you ever want to know if there's any escape points, it will tell you. So walkable escape point, climbable escape point, and jumpable escape points. And then these green lines show anywhere they can go that's not the ground. And they can't climb up that. Surprising. Look at them, they're so happy. So now that we have a water treatment plant, we can actually make little ponds for our animals. So happy they got all their stuff. And Garu and Pukar are gonna have little babies. Oh, what? Really? I guess we need to start putting up some more security cameras they're not that expensive but it's just a pain okay any more stuff no you can come here and it'll tell you what's been vandalized and it easily replaces it all okay panda cakes everybody's really thirsty oh how did we do oh the red panda we didn't do as well with that that's too bad but at least we've walled off everything, so it looks better. How'd we do? Uh, not the best, but could be worse. Okay, uh, what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to see... So we have our Colombian white-faced capucha monkey, and we also have our binturongs. I managed to get a little bit... I think I showed that in the last episode. I think I did. But anyways, the Binturongs are another Asian animal. Oh! Yes! So we have two females. Um, how long do they live again? What's their sexual sterility? Uh, 30 years. Man. Should I just risk it? Or it's only $600. Why not? I'm gonna get it, because I haven't seen any of them for ages. Okay, so the Binturongs, these guys are actually in really good health. So that's good. Okay. Um, let's look up and see what they need. I've never had them in our zoo before. So, two to five. They're monogamous. Okay, so 15 years, and they live to be 22. They're only pregnant for three months. It's crazy. Okay, and they need just a little over 2,000 feet, so not that big. 
but I want to make sure it's big enough for baby. It's not that much extra. So Asia, tropical, and temperate. And then we also have our monkeys now. Oh, but I want to focus on getting another drink area. Okay, so where is everybody getting the most thirsty? Okay, more in this area. So maybe we should set up another little drink station. Oh, hold on. So negative impact stops there. So if I put a little nook here, it wouldn't affect them too badly. Okay. So if I put a drinking station there, I think I think we got some new ones. Yeah, gulpy slush. So let's see if we put down hold on. Let's make a path. Just a little one. And we'll have it start here. Just have it come go off the main path a bit. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll do that so we can put a picnic table there. And I think we could fit two shops in here if we're careful. Okay, so I'm gonna put drink shop right there and then I want a little shell I might build one of my own of the one of these one day but for right now okay I think that was the new one right gulpy slush gulpy soda gulpy soda is the first one you get I want to try putting down a restaurant too that'd be cool Okay, um, I want to add this to a work zone. That was the wrong button. Let's put it in a work zone. So this is the middle. And then, yeah, that's good. I only have a little bit in there right now, but that's fine. Okay, and we'll put you in the middle. There we go. Perfect. So now we have an extra drink shop. Not to take care of that, but we also need to put down some more bins and benches. So if we put a trash can right there, and one right there. Oh my goodness, they're just flocking to it. Okay. And then I want an East Asian picnic table. Ooh. Oh, Chengling is about to die. I'm sad. Uh, I don't know if that's too big. Okay, put that there. And then use that. There you go walking through the table for some reason. They are just flocking to it. Oh no, Chengling. And their baby. How many do you have in there? Oh, Chengling died. That's so sad, oh no. I'm gonna name this guy Shang. After Shang from Mulong. I don't know why the second letter keeps getting capitalized. Okay, so Shang from Mulan. He'll stay with his mom or dad. One of those two. Who I, I don't know which one it was. I haven't named them. Okay, so that should make them feel better now. So if we do first. Yeah, this is a big area. Okay, let's see if that makes anybody feel better. So their first is still pretty bad. Um, I want to name this. What should we name it? No, I don't want to touch you. Come on. 
Let me let me get in there. Okay, so this is gonna be bear cups. Bear cups. Oh, did he hop out? I don't think he did. Is is our mechanic still researching? Oh no, he's researching barriers. Okay, when he gets to level three, I'll have him research some more drink shops. Because that's what we really need right now. Okay, so we spruced up the sun bear exhibit a little bit. Look how cute it looks! I love it! How are our sun bears? What are they doing? Oh, they're just kind of chilling right now. Oh, they're, they're not doing so well with their food. Okay, did we get, yes, we got a little better feed quality. I think they're inside here. Yep. Look at them, they're so cute. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, he's getting up. I just love looking at them, they're so cute. Okay, so our water treatment plant is working really well. I want to make sure that they're visited every six months because these things break down like crazy. Okay. So that's working out. These guys are really freaking out. I'm going to put you down right there. There isn't much to see in this zoo. Really? We have one, two, three, four exhibits. Um, habitats and then we have three exhibits can't say there's nothing to do here it's kind of rude okay so I'm wanting to put an exhibit here but I don't want it to clog up the main area again so if I start building for should I do the binturongs or the monkeys because if I do the monkeys those have been in my area for a while. Okay, Colombian. So they're not quite Asian, but I just thought they were adorable. Okay, so grade one climb proof water. We could do a water one. That'd be cool looking, but I might do that for like lemurs or something. Okay, so South America, North America, 2,000 feet. It just needs to be grade one, surprisingly. So we could do, can you make it unclimbable? Not these guys, but I might do some wooden logs just to fit in with the aesthetic more. Okay, so if we build it out here, somewhere we can't see it as easily. Okay. Oh, I don't want it that short. Let's do 16 feet for now. And I don't want it to be huge, because that happens to me too often. Okay. If I do this, oh, can guests enter the habitat? Yes. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay. So maybe I need to buy another monkey, even if they're not, oh, sh she's gone. So I just have two, so their area won't be as big. But hey, that's something we can do though. I want to do a walkthrough, but, ah, man. Okay, so if I do this and have them enter, have them enter from this way, how big is that? is that okay so 4,000 it doesn't seem that big but all right uh, let's 
Let's do a guest gate because I really want to be able to have them walk through just because I find that so much fun. Okay, so if we have it be a walkthrough, and then we do this. Okay, paths. Let's have it just go straight through. And then that way. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. It's been a while since I've done one of these exhibits. Goodness. Why does it keep wanting to make it a regular path? Okay, so let's do, let's look for the species we want. So we want the Colombian, where is it? Uh, seriously, is it not in here? Capuchin monkey? Is that what I'm thinking of? Capuchin monkey. Okay, I guess they just shortened it. Okay, so we're gonna do the capuchin monkeys. And we'll do a little shelter for them. Um, is that big enough for them? For now, I guess. And then we'll do a little bedding. Oh, and a feeding platform. Uh, I guess we'll put it here. And do I want to do a little pond? Does it even reach over here? Water. Yes, it does. That might be cute to do a little pond for them. Just a small little one. Sculpting, do a little push. There we go, tiny little pond for them. Oh, well, that's super tiny. So that's kind of silly. Uh, I guess we could do it like right here. There we go. Why does it have to be like that? Okay. Well, that doesn't help me very much. Okay, I'm gonna try and degrade the intensity. Okay. Okay, this, this isn't working. I'm just gonna give them a water spell for now. This is silly. Gracious. Okay. Give them a water spout. And then enrichment for the capuchin monkeys. We'll give them a box. Oh, we could give them a forage box, but this thing is massive. Oof. And give them an ice ball. Okay. If we put it in the middle of the path, they could use it. It doesn't help though. Uh, I wish I could put it down closer to things. Mm, and it won't let me ignore anything. Shoot. I also want to get some climbing, pre-made climbing things, but for now, I love that they added these natural ones to them. I think they're so cool. Okay. So let's add some climbable stuff. Do they not have, this thing is huge, but maybe I could take this, rotate it. I kind of wanted to do like like that, but then raise it, and then kind of do that. Yeah, 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 so it's more angled, so it looks a little different. And then we'll put a few little platforms, 
Philo platforms around this area. And then maybe we could do like a big bridge across this. Put one there. No, not shift. Rotate. Okay. And then we'll do a tiny one. There we go. And then we'll do a thin pull here. Just to make it cool. And then we could add some ivy. Ooh, that would be really cool. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting really into this. Okay, so we don't want Asia. We want... I don't think we want grassland. We want North America and South America. And do we have any ivy is the question. We have some curtains. Why don't they have... Oh, there we go. That would work. All right, let's, I hate how it comes sideways. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's just funny. Um, duplicate. Uh, let's turn on random rotate turn off random rotation because I just want to duplicate it <laughs> okay ooh I like this yeah this is cool okay and then let's add in some trees oof Brazil nut trees I'll add in don't want to spend too much money. A cercopia tree? That's cool. A mangrove tree. We'll add that in. And then put some little plants around. One right there. And then Right there. I love those little purple plants. Oh, the giant rhubarbs. These are so cool. I'm going to put one right here in front of the keeper door. Just to kind of hide it a bit. And then a hydrangea bush. Just because it's pretty. Okay, I think that's everything. I mean, they don't have enrichment for food, but I think if we do research on them, we can find that out really easily. Okay, how much space? That's good. That's good. All right, let's do the animals and let's send them to the zoo quarantine area. There we go. Yeah, I can't release them to the wild, but that's okay. All right, the sun bears slowly getting more and more. Are these? Yeah, these are the green iguanas. Oh no. They have too many iguanas. But let's add in. There. Now their habitat is perfect. But they have way too many animals in there. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at our animals. I think there can only be two in there. Okay. So these guys are the older ones. Uh, let's quick trade these guys oh they don't give us that much but all right now they should be good they should be happy oh Puka's about to have her baby okay those guys are happy oh there are too many puff adders oh my gosh there's so many snakes in there <laughs> okay let's uh uh Oh my goodness, look how many puff adders there are. Alright, so 
these guys are our oldest ones. Let's definitely get rid of all of the silvers and then keep a male and a female to carry on the next generation. Okay, so these guys are about the same age, so I'll keep those guys. Perfect. Yes. Good amount of money. Okay, puff adders are happy now. Good. And it gave us a little more money, which is nice. Oh, Puka had the baby. Where's the baby? Where, where did the baby go? Is the baby inside? <gasps> are you kidding me? Oh, there they are. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. And we'll name her Ring Ring after another. Oh, hear her little growl. After another female character from that show I named him after. Oh, so cute. And we'll put this in the middle as well. Do I have protesters? I didn't think we had protesters. Okay. Under quarantine. Did one of them go to the vet area? I thought I sent both of them there. Oh, maybe they just haven't taken them there yet because I paused it. That's why. That's why. Okay. Let's see if there's any more Colombian. Nope. No such luck. All right, so Sylvia can go. Oh, they're walking through already. <laughs> You're not done yet. Okay, so Sylvia, uh, we'll just name this the Capuchin Monkey. There we go. And then we need to assign this to the middle work zone. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we might need to hook up a path or something. Okay. I don't think I can put another shop here, so I'm going to put a staff path this way. I think I need to, might need to move this guy though. All right, exit. I'm gonna put him off to the side like this. Exit. Just so I have some room to put another. Come on, you're fine. Are you serious? Okay, go back. Why won't you let me curve? Don't let me snap. Come on. You're fine. Oh, goodness. I know I can fit around here. I don't know why it's not letting me. Oh, so stupid. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move this again. This time, I'm going to put it right on the other side. Now I have nothing obstructing me. Okay. Perfect. Come on. There we go. Now I have a path. Oh, good. They finished researching the barriers, so now that means I can put him onto new... Okay, pause. New drink shops, please. Okay. Where's my new monkey? Oh my goodness, she's so tiny. So tiny. Okay, so she doesn't have that much enrichment. Oh, you can do interspecies enrichment. I could put another animal in here. That is true. Okay, so she just needs a little bit more soil, but otherwise she's good. Alright, let's do some soil then.
just a little bit here and there. I guess she likes a lot of soil. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, she needs a little bit more coverage from a plant. I don't want to align to surface. Let's not do that right now. Um, there we go. That's good. Okay, can she get out is the question. Ooh, ooh. How can she get out? Oh, I haven't put climbable, unclimbable stuff on this yet. Climb proof. Right. Okay, I think that's how that works. Okay, good. Uh, where'd the monkey go? There she is. So her name's Sylvia. There we go. Oh my goodness. So cute. What do you mean? You have tons of climbable stuff. Okay, there she goes. Now she can't get out. Perfect. Environment, enrichment. Okay, she needs a lot more enrichment. So let's get some more for her before I bring the other guy in. So I'm going to put in another box and put in a sprinkler for them. And then I'm also going to put in another little ball. Perfect. At least now their enrichment is not terrible. Okay. And Lucio is also ready to move. Ta-da! Okay. So these guys can actually go in and out through the Capucha monkeys. Uh, let's put in some facilities. So put in... Uh, I don't think I want to put it inside, but if I put it right on the outside and then I also want to do not visual media um, do I want to do a big sign like this? why not? And it blends in more with it um I put it like halfway into the path. We don't want it to be that. We want that. And then a speaker. Does it have power out here? Yes. Awesome. There we go. Exit. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. And then we get some more money. Look at them. They're so happy. Yeah, the social group's not the greatest, but... Okay, now I want to have the vet research the monkeys for me. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, um, I want them, they have enough shelter. Okay, now her social group isn't that bad, but they definitely need more. Uh, Colombian, I'm just so happy I finally got these guys out after getting them in the first episode and nothing. But they'll start to have some little babies. I'm really happy with this little environment is so cute. I wish I could have put a pond, put a pond, but it was just being ridiculous. Okay. Um, so their hunger is good. Sue feels small. That's not bad. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So we're getting some good amount of monies. Let's, let's take a look at our finances. Okay, so we're getting a good amount of money coming in. Yes. And I'm happy about this. This looks so good. Looks a little more natural. And they can actually come in and see the monkeys super up close. 
you can see they're happy from seeing the monkeys. And this also brings more traffic this way, which is nice. And we can actually set up some shops along here. I know that they were talking about wanting a merchandise shop, so I think that's the last thing I shall put up. So let's do merchandise, and we'll get some loony balloons. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll put that there. And we'll put up there. Okay. Uh, I wanted to name this something about the monkeys. Come on, man. Uh, monkey. Monkey fur? monkey furs I guess okay and then we shall add this to I always forget where it's at so put the monkey furs in the middle and then we'll have the middle work here there we go perfect because they were asking about merchandise, and that'll give them a little more. All right, call vet. And I think Shang is about to age up. Yeah, he's by himself. It's sad. Okay, there he goes. Now he's an adult. Perfect. Okay, I guess the last thing we're doing is not that. Because we need to figure out... So Mei Mei is 42% and 67%. And then Shang. Ooh, yeah, he's doesn't have as great of genetics as she does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Mei Mei be sent here. And while she's moved, I'm gonna look for more Chinese pangolins. Oh, they're all female. Mm. Okay. Well, while we wait... Oh, that's Wally. I thought that was Shang for some reason. Okay. Um... Where is... Okay, are we bringing... Mei Mei? Oh, there she is. Okay. So as soon as we get her in there, we're gonna send Shang to the trading center. And we're probably just gonna trade him for some conservation credits. And then we'll have to look for a male the next time for a Mei Mei. Okay, so Shang, we're going to release him to the wild. Perfect. And then Mei Mei is kind of stressed, but she's okay. She's still pretty young, so we'll just have to wait for a male pangolin. And then we have Hua and our Binturongs, so we'll just have to keep expanding. So I think what we'll have to do next is just start refreshing our gene pools, like our fennec foxes and our red pandas. And then next on our agenda is to build a few more drink shops and a habitat for our Binturongs. And then I'll find another animal who I want to start adding. Ooh, maybe I want to add some lemurs. Then we could have a really cool, um, oh, a panda. Oh, she's not a very healthy panda. I think that's one of the things that I really want to get is a panda and maybe some Malayan tapirs because those are really cool. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had an enjoyable time uh, building the waterfall with me, building our new habitat for the monkeys, and just going over our zoo. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.